About the same time I started deer hunting, I started taking some fiddle lessons. And uh, that kind of snowballed into my other siblings joining in with instruments. That country boy style of, of living really influenced the music. I met Dawson Hollow a couple years ago, right here in my hometown, and ended up directing their first two music videos. Since then, they've become really close friends of mine. So when I decided to do a smallmouth trip on our home water, the Niangua River, I couldn't think of a more fitting crew to join me. We might just pull up, hop off, yeah, and fish from walk there. around, fish the eddy, and then float through. On this float, we were with Ben and Kyle Link. Both of these men grew up here in the backwoods of the Ozarks, so they're no strangers to the river. I mean, we all spend a lot of time outdoors. Kyle really loves outdoors, and it kind of just trickled down to us three brothers. We were also joined by my friend Caleb. Caleb just graduated high school and is one of the best bass anglers I know. Since I was gonna be navigating, and he's a better fisherman than I am, Caleb was in charge of finding out what baits the fish are hitting and getting us in front of them. Something about it, just getting those remote areas that's hard to get to, that it's not like, you know, going on a lake and you don't have to use graphs or go out and fish super deep for them on these rivers. You just, you look, you observe what you see and that, that's typically what you get. So, you know, I see a big old tree, I'm like thinking, you know, that's a good spot for a smallmouth. You know, there's a good current break there, it's a good spot for them to sit there and get all the stuff he needs pushed right to him. So, it's kind of to think like the fish. I started hunting and fishing when I was a, a small kid, fishing with my grandpa, fishing with my uncle. You get so excited to get outside and enjoy nature and enjoy life in the outdoors. And it's a very big part of, of who I am as a person. One thing about smallmouth fishing in the summer is that the days get hot. But it's worth it when the fishing is hot too. The way I fish for the smallmouth in Iangua is like they're super aggressive fish. And I'm always throwing like a moving bait, so something to imitate a shad or a minnow. I always have something to imitate crawls. When you get out in nature, you kind of have time to think the thoughts that you don't have time otherwise. It's like you can kind of hit pause and process all the stuff you need to, and it's like a reset button for your soul almost. This smallmouth trip with Dawson Hollow was amazing. Great times with great friends on my favorite river. I couldn't ask for more. But now, it's time to pack up and head to Florida and look for Snook with our buddy Jake Worthington.